I am Ajit Gunwardhana. I am an accounting teacher. Now I am going to discuss how to adjust EPF and EDF adjustment. For EPF, both employee and employer give their contribution. But EDF only employer give their contribution. Percentage is given in the examples. Employee contribution for EPF 10%. Employer contribution of EPF 15%. But ETF contribution of employer 5%. It is given trial balance. It is included salary. Therefore, we have to decide salary included in the trial balance net or gross. It is dependent on contribution of employee for EPF has been recorded or not. If contribution of employee for EPF has been recorded, gross salary can be seen in the trial balance. If contribution of employee for EPF has not been recorded, net salary can be seen in the trial balance. Here it has given both contribution of employer and employee has not been recorded. Therefore, contribution of employee also has not been recorded. Therefore, trial balance we can see net salary. But value should be calculated based on the gross salary. Therefore, first one you know how to calculate gross salary. Right. When we are going to calculate the net salary, Contribution of employee should be deducted from gross salary. It has not given gross salary, but value should be calculated gross salary. Net salary is given. We know it has given contribution of employee 10%. If gross salary 100, if gross salary 100, then contribution of employee 10, therefore net salary equal 90. It has given net salary, therefore now you can calculate contribution of employee. Employee can be calculated. 36,000 divided by 90 into 10 cannot be divided by 100 because net salary equal 90. Therefore, you can calculate contribution of employee. It should be included here. Therefore, gross salary can be calculated. If you know the gross salary, then based on the gross salary, contribution of employee can be calculated. Then 40,000 into 15 percent equals 6,000. ETF also like that. Gross salary we know into 5 percent. Therefore, value we equal 2,000. Right now, when we are going to record in the ledger accounts, there is a balance in the trial balance. Therefore, you are going to have 5 ledger accounts. No need to prepare cash account now. Net salary already recorded. Trial balance we can see salary. Therefore, salary accounts, EPF expense account, EP payable, ETF expense account, ETF payable. First one, balance should be included as a balance board forward. It has given trial balance. 36,000 should be included as a balance board forward. Now, First one, you record contribution of employee. Contribution of employee should be recorded. This one. That is also part of salary. Therefore, salary account debit and EPF payable account credit. That is the first step. Now we have to apply. Second one, contribution of employer for EPF. Contribution of employer for EPF. Cannot be deducted from salary. That is not part of salary. That is another expense of the business. Therefore, another expense. EPF expense account debit, EPF payable account credit. That is the second digit. EPF expense, separate expense. EPF expense account debit, EPF payable account credit. Third one, contribution of employer for ETF. Value already calculated. Contribution of employer, 2000. That is also another expense. Cannot be deducted from salary. That is not part of salary. Therefore, another expense like EPF, contribution of employer. It should be recorded ETF expense account debit, ETF payable account credit. Now there are three steps should be applied. Net salary all recorded. There are three employee related expense. Salary, ETF expense as well as EPF expense. Those are expense accounts. Debit side increase. Take the credit side. Difference value as a profit and loss. ETF also like that. EPF expense also like that. And there are two liabilities accounts. EP payable, ET payable, those are liability. So therefore, should be balance carried down. Credit side increase, take the total amounts, and take the debit side should be balance carried down. When we are going to prepare the financial statement, as a salary, this one salary, EP fixments, ET fixments should be included, administration expense, and EP payable, ET payable should be included current liability. Right. Think about what is the summary. Just given trial balance, trial balance 
we can see salary both contribution of employee and employer has not been recorded contribution of employee for EPF has not been recorded net salary can be seen but value should be calculated based on the gross salary therefore we have to calculate gross salary gross salary minus EPF contribution of employee equal net salary net salary is given therefore first one you have to calculate contribution of employee 36,000 divided by 90 now net salary equal 90 cannot be divided by 100 that is important points into 10 then contribution of employee should be included here gross salary can be calculated then based on the gross salary contribution of employee for EPF and EDF should be calculated then there are five accounts should be prepared and there is a balance it should be included as a balance board forward then balance part should be complete there are three employee related expense and two liabilities